Okay. Um, so it's the next day. What are you guys doing? I guess go down for breakfast. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Oh, how did everybody sleep last night? <laughs> that that seems like a legit conversation in the morning. Sorry, yeah, I'm taking down night? a few notes right now, so don't. <laughs> I feel a lot better. So do we have a list made up? Okay, sorry, I am back in the conversation now. So, uh, did anything interesting happen to any of you last night? I mean, uh... I had a weird dream. What was your dream? Uh, I was standing on top of the roof of uh, this place and we were getting surrounded from all directions from ice and there was a blizzard and uh, Charlie came up out of the um, <laughs> roof and ripped off his skin and revealed that he was really a lizard man <laughs> okay so it was nothing <laughs> I don't know. I was with you. I was with you so far, but hey, don't be fooled. Well, you know you've been right on some other stuff, so. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hope you're wrong. Well, after Bye. we all went to bed, Elias came to visit me. What? Oh yeah. Oh, what happened? So you have a dream about Elias coming to visit you, and that's realistic. I set my hand on the table, which I'm sure has frostbite at this point. Yes. It, it was not a dream. Did you fall asleep with the window open? I did not. Okay. This. Did he do? Like, did he do anything to you, or what? Well, besides touching you, obviously. He didn't touch me. Oh, you touched him. It seemed like he wanted something, but I don't know what. And he didn't say anything? <coughs> I tried talking to him, and he he didn't respond to anything until I touched him. Huh. That's... Um, just out of curiosity, how did he leave the room? He just disappeared. Okay, so he's already got the ability to teleport then. He had... He looked normal other than his skin, but he also had red eyes. Okay. So, I don't know. Maybe if we talk to Rachel, too. I don't know. I feel like we need to get some more info from her, pick her brain a bit more, because, like, she even said that she had some thoughts, but, yeah, this is getting weird. And it's like, why would he, why would he appear to Charlie? I don't want him to appear Charlie to anybody, but. Man. Well, and let's put that in our back, back pocket for now. You got another reason? I, yeah, I, 
honestly why I don't, but I'm just Well, I'm just saying like, I've got an option. Well, I was the one that in front of him suggested taking his notes. When Rachel transformed, she took her diary with her. Maybe there's something in his notes that he wants. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Why don't we go get the stuff for Rachel? What else were we wanting to do today? Let's get the stuff for Rachel and then we'll see if we can uh, get, I don't know, get some more info from her. I'm sure she'd be quite interested in the fact that he showed up at Charlie's last night. Or in Charlie's room, I should say. Maybe yeah. I've been chosen as the next target. Well, let's hope not. Yeah. Plus, it seems to have taken, like, years for the Alta to choose its next person. Which would be troubling if it's choosing faster. Very much so. Would be. But you haven't been drawn to, like, have you thought about it at all, Charlie? Not yet. Okay. Like, I don't know if that's a, I'm guessing that's a thing, because it's like, like I said, when, when I touched the altar, it's like, you, I understood why people were wanting, but... For myself, it was just, it was very overwhelming. So it's like, I don't know, maybe just certain minds are drawn to finding the answers like that. I was also the only one that heard the whispers in the mist. True. Uh, True. Not in the mist. You were the one who heard the whispers at Elias's house. I, th I thought that was coming from the mist. I mean, when you guys were in the fog, all of you were hearing the whispers. That's what I'm saying. But when okay, you were in they, the house, they know what when I'm did, talking when did, about. Yeah. When did he? Yeah, okay. It doesn't really matter when he heard it separately, but he did hear it. It was at the house. Didn't. Yeah. No, you guys knew that. Okay. No, no, no. But that's what I'm saying. It just it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, so maybe that is the start of it, or something like you said, Charlie. So that's something that we could bring up to Rachel and see if yeah like you said like you guys were saying I think trying to get rid of this uh, altar is should be high on the priority list oh speaking of that did you uh, check your email last night no oh. I'm going to run back up there oh <laughs> You're going to run back up to check your email? Yeah. Your email doesn't come to your phone like the rest of every other human being? No. I don't like <laughs> oh, wow. I don't like emails on my phone. All right. You go check it. We'll finish our breakfast, and then we'll get this list done. Okay. Okay, so I run up to my room. Okay. Um, beep, boop, boop. Yes, that's how you wow, check you get the st Stone Age internet. Yeah. It's like, beep, boop. Yes, the two oldest Dial people. Up. Um, okay, so oh, as you, it's true. It's um, true, but it's purple. As you guys are, as you're looking at your email, you do notice that amongst the Viagra ads and different things that show up, nice. um, you see. An email from Dr. Helena Sinclair. Okay. And? I don't have exact wording, but okay. basically, she is interested in the offer and is willing to take a chance. Okay. So I'll run downstairs.
Okay, go ahead. Okay, so yes, we have received word back from Dr. Helena, and she's willing to come here. So, do we want to get here here as soon as possible? What's what do you guys want? I'm assuming we want her to come. Yeah, I think maybe she can give us some answers too, right? Yeah. Maybe. I think we're in need of some cooler minds. Agreed. Uh -huh. I right. do want to contact my people as soon as possible in case this thing is targeting me. Anyway, exactly, yeah. Um, okay, well, exactly. The lizard, the people, uh, you lizard know. people, you know. I was wondering if that's what he was gonna say. Uh, I knew people it. from my department back when I was in the military. More lizard people? No. All right, so is everybody filled up on grub? Yeah. Know that we want her to come as soon as possible. Yeah, please do that, Maxine, and then get her up here, and <clears throat> uh, we can show her, show her what we're talking about. <clears throat> all right. All right. If everybody's all fed up, yep. let's get our shopping done, and we'll uh, we'll get back out to Rachel. All right. What are you? Uh, what's your plan? Well, like, what are you getting? What are yeah, you I'm getting for to... her? That's that's what I'm asking. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go to the Wilderness Outfitters. Okay. That's what I was thinking. And I'm going to get, like, a bunch of sleeping bags and stuff for them. A bunch of sleeping bags? Yeah, because sleeping bags can be zipped together to be made bigger. bigger? Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. See, not, old uh, people do know things. Old people do know things. Old people do know things. I understand the reference. <laughs> you should. Anyway, and then I'm going to look for... Like, uh, I don't know, some kind of harp or some kind of fabric. Like, I, I thought you said no, harp, but like, for just, a harp for a second. I'm yeah, like, harp. harp. So she can play music. I mean, she's going to get music. But yeah, I'm going to look for something that I feel would be like that she could wear. Because jackets are going to be too short, so it's like I'll figure our vest or something. Or I'm looking for clothing that you just go to a secondhand store and you get the biggest clothes you can find. And hey, you bring those. when was there a secondhand store ever mentioned? Um, I mean, technically, antiquities would be secondhand. Well, sure. Oh, I'm just picking up random whatever. And where can we get food from? Like just food to buy, that not like restaurant store? food? Glacier Ridge Gross Grocer. Oh, okay. The one that uh, her sister owns. Oh, right. Oh. The one that you messed up uh, your relationship with 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be like, hey, Elias is back. And he's not good now. Is your sister still dead? Yeah, I'll do that. No. What's that? Oh, that's a cat. Um, okay. So, you're both going to Wilderness Outfitters then? Yeah, because I'm I'm looking for something that she can wear. Okay. Oh, we gotta also Emily go to. Here? Uh... Is Emily still there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, technically, Emily's always there. I'm gonna go like conspiratorially talk to her in the corner, 
and be like, hey, once they go do their <laughs> thing, you want to run out to the mill and see if we can see these people? <laughs> um, yeah. We can point and stare. Okay. <clears throat> So White has his plans. <laughs> nice. Nice right. for Wyatt. So you head over to Wilderness Outfitters. You uh, wander yeah. in. Oh, before we do that, we're oh. going to go to... Uh, oh, oh the... sorry. Sorry. Jeff sorry. Jeff Adaya Memorial. Wait. Wait. There's something I missed from last night. You, uh, you, 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 where we're winding. Uh, so wow. I apologize. This is this is actually important. Um, so when you guys get back to town on the side by side after the mill, after the whatever, you see at the town hall, which I don't know if you noticed that a town hall has been added to the map. I see it. There is well, about. They built that past. They sure did. Um, there is about thirty cars outside of the town hall. Okay. Can we ignore and proceed how we did? <laughs> if you want to. What? So if I would have seen them drive in at some point, I assume. The cars. Yeah. Yep. They were all just from around town. All of them headed towards there. Having a town meeting. Uh. So yeah, we would have stopped in on that. So what would have been taking place? Okay. Um. Pitchforks? Yep. Witch hunches. One second here. How would you forget this? Uh, cause I had this plan two episodes ago, and wow. you guys stayed out of town. <laughs> yeah. Cause we're the worst. Mm -hmm. We should have just never come back to town. Yeah. Exactly. Um, one second. <clears throat> I'm trying to find the thing that I wrote down here. All right. So as you drive over, uh, you see, you enter into the hall and there's a bunch of murmuring around. Are, so why you went here too? Uh, no, I would have stayed on the roof. Okay. Um, so there's a bunch of murmuring around. Murmur, 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 yeah, murmur, exactly. murmur, 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 murmur. Um, it's a bunch of people concerned, kind of talking amongst themselves, waiting for something. And as you arrive, uh, Sheriff Bennett <coughs> wanders on stage. Um, we're going to change this to tense music because I feel like that's probably the better way it should be. This isn't right. How about this one? Whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Thank you all for coming on such short notice. As many of you are aware, we have been facing a series of unsettling incidents in our town recently. Uh, a lot of reports of animal attacks, unexplained disappearances, which, of course, we all know is another sign of animal attacks. I want to assure you all that we're doing our everything in our power to try and alleviate these um, attacks, concerns that you might have, of course, towards these attacks. However, in light of recent events, being the two animal attacks we had last night, 
I believe it is necessary to take additional precautions. Therefore, I am instituting a town-wide curfew, effective immediately. From dusk till dawn, I expect everyone to remain indoors and exercise caution when venturing outside. This is for your own safety, as we cannot guarantee protection from whatever creature it might be that is attacking our fair citizens and tourists and newcomers. Uh, the room just erupts and starts shouting. People, some people are agreeing. Some people are saying this is ridiculous. This is uh, martial law. This is unlawful. Blah, blah, blah. Sheriff Bennett raises his hand to quell the noise. I understand that this may seem drastic. But I assure you, it is necessary to make sure that our people in our community are safe. I will not rest until we have resolved these incidents and put an end to whatever animal might be destroying our great name of this town. I want to thank everybody for their cooperation. And please, stay safe out there. With that, he steps down from the podium, and everybody is kind of immediately talking amongst themselves. Some people complaining, some people a little bit worried, and others are like, yeah, that was, this is what we should be doing. Was there anything you wanted to say here? No. No? Not, I don't. Okay. I just want to confirm. Other, other than, other other than maybe yeah. we'd pull uh, Sheriff Bennett aside after if he's if he's like leaving or is he just hanging around? No, he's leaving. Yeah, so we'd follow, kind of follow him out. All right. Uh, Sheriff, you got a minute? What do you need? So you told us to keep you in the loop? We just thought maybe we should keep you in the loop of what just took place. I mean, I asked so, for it, so yeah. Yeah, so here it is. Uh, straight to the point. Uh, so we have a new monster. That would be Elias, as we suspected. And Rachel, we've found her. And she definitely was the previous monster. We have got her... Uh, back at the abandoned mill right now because uh, she's eight feet tall and see-through and still has red eyes but is now back to herself. So our plan is tomorrow to take supplies out to her and then try and see what help we can get from her to fix the whole situation. Maybe she has some insights. Um... So you know where she is, uh, she's safe, but uh, she realized that she's, you know, what, what, has, uh, what has occurred. So just so you're aware. All right, then. Now, based on previous incidents, I understand that this likely means that we're not going to be facing any new issues for a while here is that correct that seems to be the pattern from our research and what you know uh we'll keep you posted um we still our plan is still to i mean cut this short we want to uh trap elias with heat um and light and try and uh get it under control so it never it won't grow into what has just taken place and you... again once the equipment once the equipment gets here you'll be uh we'll let you know and get in you get you in on this uh this i want to call it a hunt i guess but yeah are you plan. talking about like holding him permanently well unless we can change him back i i don't know we have a scientist coming up Oh, we wouldn't have known that yet. Never mind. No. Sorry. 
You muted? Uh, Alright, um. well, keep me in the loop. But, um, good work. And, uh, get back to work, I guess. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll let you know if we find anything out of importance tomorrow. And, um, if you happen to be caught out on the streets after hours, maybe there wouldn't be as many consequences. However, keep your lights turned off on your vehicles if you're driving around. I uh, will do. All right. Dangerous? I mean, nobody else is supposed to be on the streets, so no. Try to. All right, so that that ends that, and back to the current times. Uh, so you guys are at Wilderness Outfitters. Oh no, you wanted to do something before Wilderness Outfitters. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back to the Jebediah Memorial Hunting Lodge because yeah. we kept there side by side all night, and ask if we can pay for another day. Of course, I've got my van. We can take the van out there, right? That has roads out there. To the lodge, yeah. Uh, sorry, not lodge, yeah. to the mill, yeah. Sorry, I assumed yeah. that okay, you'd return so... the side-by-side. -side. Well, we never said we did. We would have done it, but... Yeah. I know, I said I moved the stuff away from Elias's house after the house started on fire, but that wasn't good enough, so I'm just making sure that we're... taking it back so we don't get... Okay, but know, then the other problem. two people said that they wouldn't have even thought of that, so... And the one person poured alcohol on it, and the other person lit it on fire, and you did nothing. So. What are you trying to say? I'm saying he was not really too involved. Too little too late. He was not really involved in Is the burning. That... Everybody else was. Yeah. I wasn't involved in the arson. You arsonists. Anyway. Okay, so, and after that, we take our van. Go and do our errands. So get a bunch of food from the grocery store. Get a bunch of like sleeping stuff and uh, like heating kind of little heat things. Those little, you know, so they have heat if they like need. The, the ones that like you open to oxygen and it starts. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, we'll go to the antiquities, see if they've got secondhand clothes. If not, we'll just get... The biggest clothes we can find yeah okay uh so so you return the side by side whatever you get charged for another day because you kept it overnight um and then you go to the wilderness outfitters um and henry's there oh you're becoming my most frequent customers. It's great oh, to see you guys just you again. wait, Henry. You too, you too. I'm sure we're going to spend a lot of money here, so... Oh, well, I mean, my kids need new birthday presents. We'll make it happen. Perfect. Anyway. So, uh, we need a bunch of sleeping bags. Maybe six of them. Uh, best ones you got, and we'll take some of them. There pillows. Is there? Sorry, uh, just a quick question. Is there a certain temperature you need them to uh, fight against? What's the temperature now? Uh, just give me the ones that do the best, the coldest ones you got. All right, minus fifty. It is perfect. All right. Um, so he heads out, grabs those for you, comes back, um, brings you all the, uh, other equipment that you asked for. And he's like, all right, well, this is everything you needed. Thank you very much. And that'll be your... $1,500. There's your, $1, your payment. <laughs> There's the company card. Cha-ching. Okay, and then we'll go over to Evans Antiquities, see what they got there. Uh, were you wanting a tarp still, or no? Well, yeah, he brought out a good... I'm just looking for... 
Yeah. Some kind of material that we can... She's not going to sew herself clothing. No, no, no. But if we can jimmy some something up with, like, uh, like I said, we got some belts and stuff. That should be enough to... And like you said, it doesn't matter if her pants are short. Okay. So That's you head fine. over to uh, Evans Antiquities. And... Yeah. I don't think you've been in here yet. Just Frankie? I think it was Frankie and somebody else. Did Wyatt go there? Wyatt, do you remember? What was the question? Did you go into Evans Antiquities with Frankie or was it just Frankie by themselves? Just Frankie. Is, J Is this Jason's brother? No. Who? That's not the Antiquities. That's Thompson's repair, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a female I went to the running. Shop. It's a female running. Evans Antiquities. Yeah. Um. This one, if you need to see her again. Did I? Did that not send? Yeah, something just came up on my phone, so. Oh, there it is. Um, okay. So. You enter the store. Um, and hanging above the door is, like, a wind chime made with, like, weird, uh, different ancient coins. As well as uh, like animal bones as mixed together, and that's what dings as you enter. And she looks up from her book and she's like, "Oh, welcome. How can I help you?" Hello there. Um, we're looking for old clothes. Like, do you have a? I guess if I looked around. Do you have the a section, section where the clothing? The back. Okay. So we'll just wander off to the back. Are you saying that as your action or are you saying that to her? Yeah, I'm just, yeah, either or, it doesn't matter. We'll yeah, just check out what you free, have in the feel back. Feel free to check out, that's fine. Okay, so what am I seeing back here? Uh, A lot of stuff. It's kind of a hodgepodge of like a bunch of different things. Um, okay. But you can pick I'm out kind the of best like, for biggest clothes and uh, get yeah. them there type of thing. Going into the grande sizes. I mean, they're not really sized. And... It's kind of just... No, but I'm looking and I'm looking for the bigger, bigger things. Because you said she's seven feet tall. Seven to eight. Yeah. So it's like, I'm talking about tarps and stuff. It's like, that's not that much. It's like Madison's that big. So anyway, well, not that quite that big, but okay. So yes, yeah, so I pick out some sweatshirts and some pants that I think will fit her. They'll look like capris, but it's fine. And because we're still January, right? Yeah. So it's gonna be it's gonna be coolish. So I'm looking for stuff that's. And did Jason have, like, he what had was clothes, he dressed as? But they were yeah. all old, old we'll worn bring... out clothes. Okay, so we'll grab some stuff for him too. Some actually like, just just for or... fun. He's wearing the uniform of the uh, lumber mill. Nice. Yeah, we'll pick him up. Pick him some stuff too, because he's about the same height. You said. No. No, he's shrunk. He's got one long arm and one long leg now. Oh. Okay. Well, we can, we can do, deal with that. Pick up some scissors. Okay. So yeah, I'm just and gonna grab an assortment of. Yep. yep. That's the plan. You said you're we'll gonna deal so. with it. Oh. Yeah. Hopefully they're nice and rusty. Yeah. So. Maybe a saw. Is there a saw? Bone saw? Is there a bone saw? Yeah. An antique bone saw? No. Um, but there is well, like antique... 
antique metal medical equipment i believe i said in the last time you were here oh that would be awesome yeah if you no, don't we'll have a boat saw a rock would do the same thing yeah there you go. we'll take care of jason <laughs> but yeah okay so we've grabbed some an assortment of clothing we'll go up to the till okay um she looks through the clothes and she's like i don't know does ten dollars seem fair Wow, your Perfect. prices yeah, are amazing. Yeah, that's great. Uh, here's 20. Keep the change. Oh, okay. Mr. Generous with... Um, so... Charlie and Wyatt. Wyatt, you're planning on heading out to the uh, mill? Yes. Emily and him are sneaking off. Charlie, what are you doing? I'm keeping an eye on Wyatt. Oh, Okay, so what's your plan here, Wyatt? <laughs> As the lizard man is spying on you. Uh, I, I don't let him know that I'm keeping an eye on him. Okay, so Wyatt, how how are you doing it then? Charlie, Charlie. How am I doing what? How are you keeping, keeping an eye on him? It? Yeah. Like, are you in secret? Um, I'm standing. Well, to get outside, he either needs to use a door or use a window. He has snuck out before, so I would be outside nearby, keeping an eye on the building, so I would see him exit. So you'd be like leaning against Tremaine's curiosities type of thing, or just like on the steps? Yeah. Like, leaning against a different building, kind of out of sight, so I'm not real obvious. Okay. Wyatt. Uh, how are you leaving? I am pulling up the, the city map right now. Hold on. Yeah. I'd probably go out the back, though. Okay. And kind of keep an eye out. Because the whole point is trying to sneak away while they're not paying attention. Uh, so we're in... The lodge. Actually, I would go out the front, because that's the direction we're going, and head towards the woods. Okay. So, so essentially head this direction. Okay. Uh, I guess... Hmm. So I need you to roll something for me, I think. I roll. That's an eight on the dice. Okay. Uh, we're going to... You know, we're just going to roll sharp. That would be a nine. Okay. Uh, so that's a mixed success. So with that... Uh... Let's just do this as an investigative mystery to make it easier on me. So as you pop out, and we're just going to do a what is being concealed here. Uh, you see Charlie leaning up against the Tremaine's curiosities. Okay. Uh, we'll try to ditch him then. Are you just doing that by like running or? Um... We will cut through like behind Turner's pub. Yeah. Um I'll turn uh like I'm going down Main Street, heading this way, and then essentially double back around the pub to head into the forest. 
Okay, Charlie, what are you doing when you see him do that? Like when you see him. Do cut? I see? Would I see him double back and run? I don't know. When you see him cut behind the where you are, what do you do? Well, I would follow him at a bit of a distance, but keep close enough that I can have an eye on him. Okay, so when he goes up towards Main Street, like, would you, like, just peek around the alley type of thing? Yeah. And then as he cuts across and up, you'd be in the alley. So technically, I think this plan works for Wyatt. Correct? I'm not sure if that's, I think, on you. <laughs> well, based on what you're telling me, you'd be following behind him at a slight distance, so you'd keep an eye on him as he's going down the alley, just like peeking around the corner. Then once he gets to Main Street, you'd probably want to follow down that alley and make sure where he's going on Main Street. But as you get down to the end of the alley, he's already cut across Turner's Pub and then gone down the side. But if I was following close enough to keep an eye on him, wouldn't he not really have time? Basically, I'd be walking slowly like I'm just kind of cruising down the first part. And then as soon as I turned on the main street, it'd be booking it back around the corner to double back. All right, so here's what we're going to do to figure out. Both of you roll the 2d6. Whoever gets higher either sneaks away or follows behind without being seen. Seven. Eleven. All right. So, Wyatt, you feel as though you got away, but Charlie, you yep. are able to follow behind Wyatt. I'm That's... glad I didn't bring my bad dice today. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you guys are headed. And Charlie, as you're following behind, you realize where they're heading. Are you going to do anything about that or no? I can't radio the group because he would hear. Yep, that's how the radios work. Are we still what? within cell range? Uh, no. Okay. I'm going to keep following at a distance. Let him get there. So, Wyatt, as you're wandering along, mm -hmm. you are just walking to the place, or are you jogging? Like, are you trying to get there quick? Um, once we get, once I think we're far enough away, we're going to start just walking. Okay. And let's say, Charlie, you're like wandering along the edge of the woods so that you're not, you're able to hide behind trees and stuff, but you're able to follow behind. Okay. And you guys are just wandering along the Hani Road. <clears throat> um, so, after about 30 minutes of walking, let's say, you guys reach the abandoned mill. Oh. So, it's all fenced off on the exterior, but the fence is old, and there's definite holes and stuff in it. Um, well, we're here. It's a little creepier than I thought it was going to be, but that's just, that just makes it more fun, it doesn't it? It is a little it? creepy, but I think it just makes it more fun. Yeah, that's what I think. All right. You go first. 